Do you have a passion for life coaching, but you wish you were paid more for it? Does everyone who comes to you seem to only wanna pay $100 or even $50 a session? If you love your work as a life coach, but you hate how much you're getting paid, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna share what it takes to be a well-paid life coach. <laughs> Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things. And in today's video, I wanna talk to you about what it takes to be a well-paid life coach. And so I'm so blessed and so fortunate to stand here before you truly as a well-paid life coach. I have been a coach since 2015 and I've generated over $1 million in my business since then. My business currently generates multiple, multiple six figures per year and we're tracking close to the million dollar per year mark, which is really exciting. So I'll be sure to do celebration videos here on this YouTube channel when we cross that threshold. But I've been fortunate to be a well-paid life coach really from the beginning. There's been no year in my business where I haven't generated at least six figures, even when I was working my full-time job. And I did that by making sure that I use the strategies that I'm gonna go over today in this video. All right, the first thing you need to do if you want to be a well-paid life coach is to Stop trying to coach people on their whole life. I know, such a bummer. Like, what? You got into life coaching to coach people on their whole life. But when you understand marketing, how it works, and how people really think when they are determining who they want to work with, people like to go to specialists. Think about it. Doctors, think of neurosurgeons or heart surgeons tend to make more than just general doctors or just general medicine internists. And so it's no different with coaching. You can be a life coach and that's totally fine, but you still want to think about what are the specific things within life coaching that you want to coach on. And so for me, I got my start in self-discipline coaching under the umbrella of life coaching. I did not come out saying, oh, hire me because I'm going to make your whole life better because people intuitively know that that's not really possible. You're going to make my whole life better just with your coaching. It, it kind of sounds too good to be true. And so even if it's possible for you to make someone's whole life better, you really want to focus in on the specific mechanism that you're going to be focusing on or helping them improve that will make their whole life better. And so for me, I focused a lot on self-discipline because that was a part of my own story and it was something that I had mastered and I knew if the women that I worked with could just get a handle on their self-discipline, they'd be able to truly achieve their dreams. And so that's what I build myself as. And so for you, if you're not a well-paid life coach, it's probably because you're simply too broad. So instead of saying you're a life coach, a purpose coach, a goal coach, you wanna think what specifically in someone's life or what specific goal do you want to help them achieve? All right, the next thing you need to do if you want to be a well-paid life coach is to stop obsessing over coaching certifications, okay? <laughs> Clearly I'm passionate about this. Um, I don't have a coaching certification. I have nothing against coaching certifications. In fact, I probably will get one in the future. I was actually looking at a few, but I'd want one not because I think that it's going to help grow my business or help me get paid more, but just because I'm passionate about the arena of coaching and I want to be able to do what I do even better. Many people go get a coaching certification for the wrong reasons. They think a coaching certification is automatically gonna make people throw money at them and that is just not the case in fact people tend to go with coaches who have real world experience in the arena that they are coaching so if you are obsessing over a coaching certification because you think that it's going to eliminate the need for you to have mastery in the area that you are coaching i'm here to tell you that that is not the case okay so it's not just enough to have head knowledge you really need to have hand knowledge that is first hand experience with whatever it is that you're coaching on in order to truly commit and the prices that will allow you to be a well-paid coach. So nothing against coaching certifications, but understand that they are not a magic wand and that if you wanna be obsessed about anything, be obsessed about your own results, your own experiences that you've gotten because that's what people are gonna be looking for when they determine whether or not they want to hire you. All right, the next thing you need to do if you want to be a well-paid life coach is you need to build a powerful personal brand. Having a powerful personal brand is so important because you become known in the marketplace. Oftentimes when you just market the fact that you're a life coach, I can help you with your life, et cetera, et cetera, many coaches don't realize that they make themselves commodities. You don't wanna be a commodity. You wanna be a Ferrari in your industry or even a Prius. Like both cars are really great, even a Honda, right? I, I drove a Honda for many years and I loved it. 
And what does Honda have? They have a strong brand. They have a strong reputation. They're known for how reliable their vehicles are. So it doesn't matter what vehicle essentially you want to be in the coaching industry, but you do want to be known as something. You don't want to be known as just a car or just a coach. So you really want to think about what is it that you stand for? Who are you as a person? And how can you package that in a personal brand that will make people want to work with you if they resonate with you versus someone else? All right, I have more strategies where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. I wanna know, what does well-paid mean to you? Do you wanna make six figures, You know, multi six figures? What's the dollar amount? What does well-paid mean to you as a life coach? All right, the next thing that you need to do if you want to be a well-paid life coach is to achieve a visible victory. So this is almost like part two to the last suggestion that I was talking about in terms of stop obsessing over a coaching certification. So again, not that there's anything wrong with the coaching certification, but if you want to be well-paid, it's really important that you have a visible victory that people can point to when they say, hmm, I wanna work with this person because they have achieved this thing and I know they can help me too. So if I'm honest, I think a lot of people avoid trying to get a visible victory because they think the victory has to be bigger than it really is, right? So they think they have to be the next Mark Zuckerberg, they have to make a million dollars, they have to look like a fitness model, they have to have been married for 40 years, like all these things, you know, in order to be a successful business coach or health coach or relationship coach or what have you. Those things are not the case. You can get a seemingly small result, but it needs to be something that is highly visible to your audience and something that is highly valuable to your audience, something that they would want for themselves. And so, like I said, I got my start really as a college student, fresh out of college in terms of mastering my self-discipline. So I had had a full ride engineering scholarship to the university that I had gone to. I had goofed up my grades because I stopped going to class because I was trying to build a business. I got bit by the entrepreneurship bug and stopped going to engineering classes, which is a terrible idea. I do not recommend, do not recommend zero stars. Um, so don't do that, but I did that and my grades plummeted. And so with my grades plummeted, I had to learn self-mastery, self-discipline in order to not only get back in school, but to work like two and three jobs that I was working in order to pay my way through school. And I was blogging and documenting my journey the entire time. And so as I was blogging and documenting that I had gotten back into school, I had gotten another scholarship, I had paid off my credit card debt, I started to be able to do these amazing things. Other young women started to reach out to me and they were like, dude, how are you doing this? Like, can you help us do this too because this is really amazing so again i didn't have some big like oh you know i started facebook or some visible victory like that but i did have a victory and it was visible so you really want to think about what it is that you have in your life that is visible and that is a victory that you can base your coaching off of because that will help you get paid and get paid well all right, the next thing you want to do to make sure that you are a well-paid life coach is you want to come up with a unique approach. So again, going back to the coaching certification, I think a lot of people hide behind a coaching certification because they do not have an approach themselves when it comes to coaching. And so again, while coaching certifications can be helpful, it's really important that you have your own unique way of doing things because if you just rely on the coaching certifications framework, that just makes you a commodity, right? How many, how many graduates do those coaching certification programs put through every single year? Thousands of coaches, right? And so if the only thing you have to say is, oh, I'm IFC certified, I know this type of framework, then there's really nothing special that makes you stand out versus the other coach, and there's really no reason why you should be well paid. So it's really important that you come up with your own unique approach, your own unique framework, and you do that by going back to that visible victory and asking yourself, what processes, what steps did I go through in order to achieve that visible victory? And then how can I impart that to my clients to help them get the victory too? And so speaking of clients and speaking of being well-paid, if you wanna know my step-by-step -step client attraction approach that I use to this day to get paying clients, then I invite you to join me on my free client attraction masterclass. It's completely free and I share the entire framework, again, that I use to this day, the entire five-step process. You can learn what that is by clicking the link below and registering for that masterclass now. All right. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want even more, make sure that you are subscribed to my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show, on both iTunes and Spotify, where I go over these concepts and a lot more. I talk about personal development, money mindset, 
just faith topics, like all the things. If you just want everything, you should definitely check out my podcast. And if you can't wait until my next podcast episode, then I also recommend that you check out my Instagram. So on my Instagram page, I post content nearly daily, again, talking about these topics and a whole lot more. So go follow me over there at Courtney L. Sanders. All right, thanks so much for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.